face the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. So, welcome to Rage Against the Dice. Today is another playthrough of <coughs> Star Trek Ascendancy by Gale Force 9. Uh, last time, I was Federation. Alan was the Romulans, I believe. Yep, yeah, didn't, didn't work out too well. Didn't work out I too got well very well. lucky early on. Yeah. Today, <laughs> I'm the Klingons. And I'm the Federation. I should move across. Yeah. <laughs> Alan's the Federation. What we're going to do is we're going to play it properly this time. And At least try. Yes. Uh, there's a few little rules we got wrong, but it is a rule-heavy game. Mm -hmm. um, for a 4X game, it's quite light, but for compared to some of the other games we've played, it's quite heavy. With the fleets, you can only have one fleet per Ascendancy level. Um, we will be trying to stick to... Admittedly, because people didn't watch us play from start to finish, they were just in little sort of chunks. Yeah. I probably could have got away without mentioning that, but... You were too honest. Transparency, that's the name of our <laughs> game. So yes, I think we'll get underway. We'll do exactly as we did last time. We'll dip in and out and sort of let people know what's going on a couple of turns at a time. If a really exciting turn happens, then we'll come straight back to it and let them know what went on. As things stand, is the Klingon Empire going to destroy the Federation? Or are the Federation going to colonise a load of planets? And, well, they've already got new Romulus. Well, no, Romulus. <laughs> that was in an alternate timeline. All right. The... the <laughs> Flubble do The Mirror Universe, man. Mirror Universe! <laughs> oh, yes, everyone grows Gordies. Jane would look amazing with a Gordie. Look at her there. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. I'm thinking too much about Jane with a Gordie Stop and not it. enough about smiting you. Uh, we'll be back after turn three, maybe turn four, when stuff's happened. You can see our galactic empires and where we're headed. Three. So, uh, we're four turns in. Uh, no, we're not that far. I'm pretty confident we are. Are we? Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is the Klingon Empire as it stands. Everything that the light touches, except that. That's... <laughs> Klingon Empire, it's like the Lion King. Everybody knows that. And this over yonder... Sh it's the back of Alan's head. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's the Federation's meagre planetary systems, except that and that. You'll see that he has no ships. Yeah. They've either been destroyed yep. by the many, many catastrophes around. Oh, yeah, because we lost an entire planet as well. Yeah, the crystalline entity devoured it. Yeah. So, um, you yeah. started well, but then you got some really bad planets pop up. It was the cars. They took it. So, yeah, so my ships, I have no ships. The entire Federation does not have a single ship. So it's fairly accurate. Uh, the ships I did have, I had to sort of dismantle in order to build... These little statement settlements. Yeah. So, it's again, we haven't met each other yet. And it's the same thing that happens when you play in two-player. Yeah. There's a lot of posturing and going around the outsides. And then eventually you're like, oh, we've run out of all resources. Yeah. <laughs> we better go and fight each other now for what's left. Uh -huh. um, I think it's a, it's a very British way of doing things. Uh, like, okay. we're not going to fight. We're not going to fight. Oh, we must. Oh, kind of thing. okay. Yeah. <laughs> But I think we'll come back in a couple more turns. Hopefully you'll have a ship. At least <laughs> I might one. I'll build a ship by then, yeah. Yeah, but no, as always, it's been enjoyable so far. There's been lots of Star Trek based referencing we've yeah, made. There has. Um, we shall be back in a bit to see where we're at. Yeah. Oh, the Klingon Empire has grown a little bit. Mm -hmm. However, the Federation... Build, build, build. It's... Eventually. We've yeah. got no ships to some. Yeah, he's it's got a couple. Lot, but it's some. The Klingon Empire... At the minute, we still haven't met each other, but I feel it's almost inevitable now. Yeah. I mean, that's just a gateway. These... We did notice that the Klingons seem to be stretching their ever-reaching arms out to wrap <laughs> around the Federation. Yeah. But yeah, it's been... You got very unlucky in terms of culture, haven't you? You like, you keep pulling red and blue yeah. nodes, but... I, I also did a complete sort of uh, schoolboy error. 
uh, and haven't been drawn all the cultures that I should have been drawing. Yeah, for your actual Federation gift-based bizzle. Yeah, but, but anyway, we, we retconned it. So. Indeed, retconned. So uh, we're going to get to a point where I reckon we're going to be fighting in the next yeah. three to four clip flops. Yep. That's a measurement of time in Star Trek because you can just make up what you want now and say <laughs> it's the past. You can. Um, that's not a Disco- Star Trek Discovery reference, obviously. Oh, no, Because that's Yeah, I don't talk about STDs. The boy says I do. Anyway, we, <laughs> we'll be back in a clim clom to see if we can schwizwaz the wiggle lip. With a flim clom. Word. <laughs> of war the Klingons are building ships they're stocking up their star bases the Federation are building ships and they're, they're really defending they you're building a defensive line what gives that away? this is the eve of war the Klingons <laughs> go first Do they? it's all down to this as the Klingons would say some words I don't understand because I don't speak Klingon no. Which is odd for a Klingon ambassador, as I am. <laughs> How did you get that job? I just walked in. I was like, you need an ambassador? They're like, yes, please. Yeah. Klingon's yeah. very polite. But yes, um, I believe one way or another, there is little left. Either I will do a full-out assault and you will counter-attack and destroy my base. Yeah. Or I will take Earth as my very own and use it. Like the cesspool <laughs> that it is. No. Anyway, one shall see. So, we kind of come to a bit where Earth has everything. My nearest base was going to have everything. I attack him. He destroys my fleet. I wipe out most of his fleet. We spend yeah. the next turn building. We're kind of stuck in a war of attrition. Yes. No one can win that way, so in the end, I had to ascend. So the Klingons have hit a higher state of enlightenment, is that correct? That, that doesn't sound right, but it's correct. <laughs> yes, so that's it. We're going to end it. It's just a quick one now. I said, it still feels wrong with only two people. It needs a third person. Yeah, definitely. I think we definitely need to bring more people in. So I'm going to end it there. Yep. Dice gods, hope a smile upon you, and take care. Goodbye. <laughs>